What's up everyone? This is Ryan Games and I'll be going over some Eve Echoes uh, fittings here. I'm just accepted, uh, let me pull it up, I just accepted this $5 million, $5 million -esque, um, encounter. It's a T7 and I'm going to be attempting to complete it in a caracal. And so I just wanted to let everyone know that it is possible to do it in a caracal. Let me uh, show you my fittings here. I've just got regular Mark V uh, medium rapid uh, missiles on here. I've got the uh, Mark V medium energy Nosferatu's and I do have one Republic fleet medium shield booster. Um, you really don't need that. You could just do two regular Mark V's. This one's a Mark V. And then I have a regular ballistic control and then a cap medium capacitor battery. For the rigs, uh, I've got one semiconductor memory. It basically gives you more uh, capacitor, I believe. Yeah, 17.5. Those are like five mils. So um, I, I basically needed it for when I do T6s because I just tank the whole time. Um, but the T7s I kite, so. Um, and then my other rigs is a bay loading accelerator, uh, which gives you 7.5% faster reload time. And then I've got a hydraulic bay thruster to give me some more range. Um, that one's pretty useful for T7s because I kite, but you could do a damage mod. Like, that's probably what I would do if I had to refit all over again because my range here is 27.1 km, which is pretty good. Um, my skills uh, are a lot better than they were. I, were, I was doing T7s fine with uh, worse skills. The reason I'm a little bit behind on my skills is because I had specced into laser, as you can see. Not a whole lot, um, but then I had to switch to missiles because I wasn't able to do the T7 stuff. So I do have, you know, I'm training to four on advanced missile torpedo operation because I want to get the Caracal Navy issue. And then the cruiser technology. Um, until today, I had no advanced cruiser, so I've just been rocking cruiser command for. Um, navigation afterburner 4 I don't even have the advanced afterburner yet um, but I don't have an after uh, burner on here anyway so it doesn't really matter cruiser engineering is like that uh, target is only at 3 so I mean my skills aren't crazy good but they're getting there and I'm about 6 jumps out I've never done this encounter before uh, I'm pretty sure there's some a light elite uh, frigs and maybe some battle cruisers on there so I'll just have to see how it goes hopefully I don't die uh, but I did um, the reason my wallet's so low is I just bought uh, if I can find it look at that uh, I just bought a Caracal Navy issue for 69 million isk I usually do buy orders but I didn't want to risk putting in a buy order and paying all those taxes and then not getting it so I just said I, you know I have the ISK I'm gonna buy it and then I al also got uh, I also got some um, Republic fleet missile launchers but they're not on here right now right now I'm just basically going mark 5 for everything oh I also have a mark 5 drone uh, it's a I believe a warrior let me see where's my fitting not a warrior but the Valkyrie Mark V Valkyrie, which is a medium drone. Um, that adds like 30 DPS, I think, 20 DPS. Oh, I didn't show you my drone skills. They're, uh, they're pretty horrendous. But I figure, you know, any, any uh, DPS, look at that. So I've got medium drone and medium drone upgrade. I don't even have the uh, $2 million or $2 million-esque and $3 million-esque skill books. Um, I'll probably buy those, but right now my focus is on getting all my uh, missile skills up to at least level 4. 
so that I can uh, get into my Navy issue carry cool. So I'm still three jumps out. Basically how I do it is I warp in at 100 kilometers and then uh, just scope out the scene and try to pick off whatever's fastest coming at me and then I just kite everything. So my range has gone up. Like yesterday I think I was sitting at 25 kilometers um, instead of 27. So some of my skills we just got uh, because of maintenance we got like 150,000 skill points or something so I was able to uh, do some skills with that and then I believe on the 28th of August we get another 200,000 skill points so yeah those are all going into missiles unless uh, unless I switch over to cruiser to level 4 um, like the advanced cruiser because that's a skill that the uh, Caracol Navy issue will be needed. I'm just uh, kind of waiting to get there. Um, in the future, I will not be going through 0, zero with my Caracol Navy issue. Um, so if there's not a safer way uh, through low sec, I'm probably not going to be risking, you know, a 150 million-esque ship. Um, unless I have like massive amounts of bisque in my wallet where I can replace it um, because I'm not sure if a really fast sensor boosted like I don't even know if there's sensor boosters in echoes we could probably check that out let's just see I don't think there is a sensor booster um, skill but the point is is a frig if a frig locks onto me and points me um, that would probably be pretty bad for my bank account. Yeah, so I'm not seeing any sensor boosters. Uh, weapon upgrades? No. Yeah, so so I'm probably safe to go through zero zero like this, but um, yeah, I'm just, I had a lot of, uh, so I hit no because I don't want it to warp me in. And if you don't know how to warp in, you just click on where you want to warp to, hold it down, and then s scroll all the way out to 100. And uh, here we go. Wish me luck. Warp drive Let me type that in. Wish me luck on my 5 mil Amar encounter. I hope I don't die. <laughs> Alright, so uh, nothing elite at the moment, it looks like. So I'm going to target the Punisher. Um, I basically try to get the smaller ships first. And then I can only lock four targets with my current skill set. So I'm just going to approach the Punisher. And uh, if I get warp scrammed, I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> no, I won't cry. But I'll, uh, I'll definitely be trying to take out that ship. But the only thing that should try to scramble me would be the frigate, I would imagine. I guess the destroyer could, the Dragoon Assault. Um, but I doubt it. Honestly... Normally what I do on T7s, tier 7 encounters, is I I take out one of my shield boosters and I put another damage control because I take like very minimal damage. Um, I do keep the cap battery because um, I basically, by the end of the encounter, I'm like pretty low on cap. There is a station in the system, so that's good. We can always dock up if we need to repair or something, but I try not to go into armor because I'm cheap and I don't want to pay for the repairs and unfortunately I don't think I have a medium armor repair in my cargo hold. Sometimes I do bring them but for whatever reason I didn't this time. So these are Amar, they're all lasers, they're shield, they're you know they'll take down your shields. Um, I've never done 
a T7 Amor mission, so I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go. All right, so I'm gonna have to do this arbitrator first because it's uh, closing in on me. So at 33, like if I had a missile guidance system on right now, so I'm just going the opposite direction, as you can see. I'll just start firing. And then I, I just slow, slow my roll. I slow down my speed so that I can uh, hopefully get these in to range of my missiles. Let's go even lower. Yeah, see, like, they're doing quite a bit of damage to me. Okay, so they're... I'm hitting already. So let's bump up my speed. So the cap battery, how it works is... Anything you use your um, capacitor on, see how it has, like, the lighter capacitor at 105? All of that will just uh, be used up anyway and you won't take from your actual capacitor um, while that's being used. So it's pretty helpful because you can do both shield boosters without really worrying. We could probably bump up our speed even more. This guy's gaining on us. But see, it's pretty easy. Like this is a 5 million-esque uh, reward encounter and so far it's pretty easy. The next wave may have an elite in it. I don't know we'll deal with that as we go and one thing to note we don't really use the the drone as you can see on at least on this until we get an elite frig um, because nothing's in range my range is only 20 kilometers 20 km so it's uh, you know so yeah see how my booster is just running I'm gonna probably Oh, I should put my speed up so I can go back in range of the Punisher. It's really slow and a little bit boring. I mean, right now my blood is pumping because I've never done such a high uh, reward uh, encounter. I think the highest I've done is 3 mil. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm really not in risk at the moment. So I just, I should have clicked my capacitor battery and then my damage control or my ballistic control uh, because so we're gonna have to take out the prophecy first uh oh I'm firing on the harbinger yeah unfortunately we're in a like bad position so we've got the the big boys coming in here before the smaller ships which I don't like but we're just gonna deal with it um, 40 kilometers see the problem is see how the um, the bigger ships the battle cruisers are like at 36 and 38 so we're gonna be taking damage from both of those at the same time um, not a whole lot of damage but you know any damage is scary when you're doing such low DPS oh I should have showed you guys my DPS I'll show you once we get in range here. Okay, so let's go the other direction. Let's start firing. Okay, so my normal DPS is 211 for my missiles. And uh, let's slow down. And when we pop the damage control, we boost up to 259 DPS. So, I mean, our DPS is pretty low. Uh, if you're in, just getting into Caracal, it's probably going to be even less than that. But, you know, that's alright. We do what we gotta do with what we got. Uh, 25. I haven't been paying as much attention as I normally do. I try to look and see, okay, is there, are they gaining on us? Like, they just gained on us to 24. So, I bump up my speed. So now we're, we're going out of range. So we want to bump it down again, and yeah, I've got both. I've got both boosters going here. So 
Uh, the reason I brought both boosters is because it was a 5 million, and I just have no idea if we're going to get, like, some crazy spawns with, like, an elite battle cruiser. I have no idea what kind of DPS those will do, so that's, that's my reasoning. And so far, so good. I'm glad I brought two. But we'd probably be fine without two. I would just be going faster right now to, like, get at the maximum amount of range. But, uh, yeah, it's all right. Let's look at our loot. We got one cruiser wreck we're going to need to pick up. Normally, after the, uh, the, after this wave's done, they're so far away that we can collect all our loot um, while the wave is going. I have not been paying attention to my chat either. Normally I'd be chat watching the damage, watching the damage output. But yeah, so this is an easy caracol fit uh, for you guys to use. Oh crap, look at my capacitor. It's so low. I have to uh, turn off my shield here. Oh, and look, we went out of range. I wasn't paying attention. So let's just slow it down. Slow it on down. Yeah, see, they're they're putting out a lot of damage. So we should, while our capacitor battery is gone, we should boost all our damage away. And then once it goes down, turn it off. So 30, what did I say, 27.1. So once it gets, once they get into 27 range, oh look, we're already hitting at 30. So that's good. Let's go ahead and pop our ballistic control, turn off our uh, shield booster. Why I like taking out the smaller ships is when you only have one battle cruiser left, you can usually just like go straight up to it and cap drain it with the uh, uh, Nas Feratus, and then uh, you're pretty much good to go. Do do do. Yeah, but like I said, this is pretty slow. Um, I've got my other ship just sitting in Jita. Jita? Jita? After I finish this, I'm definitely going to fly straight there, fit out my new fit, and uh, just be happy. Alright, so 100,000 isk for that guy. Um, you know what, let's just go ahead and keep that running. Let's put our Harbinger target on there. Yeah, they're putting out some decent DPS. Um, I'm afraid to approach though because I don't want those, that Arbitrator and the Dragoon to, uh, to be coming after me. What we could do is dock up and fill up our capacitor and our shields. That's probably what we're gonna do. Let's do that. Um, let's let's do as much as we can. All right, let's just go go and dock up. So as you can see, um, there's not a whole lot of risk um, in this first wave. I'm not sure about the second wave, and I'm hoping there are only two waves because it takes so long. But Couldn't even warp all the way there because we we're so low on cap. Alright, 
right, so, uh, what could I do? Um, we could put on and get more range. Let's check what our range would be. Let's move this to our item hanger. Let's take off our shield booster. Missile guidance, fit that bad boy. Let's take a look now. We're at 30. They were still doing damage to us, so I say we just stick with what what I was rolling, what I was using previously, and then uh, let's put that back in our cargo holes because uh, yeah, I mean we used we used a lot of that um, double shield boosting power, so. I'm, I have no clue where we're going to wind up um, in relation to our rats here, but hopefully we're not right on top of those arbiters, arbitrators? I don't know what they're called. We'll see. Yeah, I highly recommend having someone in your court build you a navy uh, caracal if you have that capacity because you'll probably save a bunch of isk. All right, yeah, so we are we landed in not the greatest spot, but let's uh, let's approach the station and we'll lock the Harbinger. Oh, I mean, we're, yeah, this is probably not the greatest situation here, but let's slow down. Let's pump our cap battery and just uh, see how it goes 25 all right I'm just watching the range here so yeah as long as the cap battery still has power we can just use both of these shield boosters and we should be okay 23 so he's gaining on us I don't know how to tell uh, who's hitting my ship? I guess I just need to look. Harbinger. Yeah, so the Harbinger is the one doing most of the damage to us. I mean, it's not a whole lot of damage, and we could definitely take it if we had killed the other ones first, but unfortunately, I didn't warp like, back in at a different angle. You know, like, those guys are over there, so if I warp to that asteroid belt right there and warp back, they would definitely be closer, but the Harbinger is almost down, so... Oh, look, let's put our drone on it. So, we'll just finish this up and then take out the other two, and then we'll deal with the next wave. Let's look at our loot. 66 away, that's uh, unfortunate. Alright, let's approach this bad boy. Let's get this arbitrator. Let me look at the ships. Arbitrator. Uh, let's try to get the Dragoon, actually. Well, you know what? Let's just go in and, and orbit this guy at 8. And uh, see what happens. I mean, we should be able to tank this, I would hope. Maybe we should approach it. Because if we could put our... Uh... Oh, we're only using one booster right now, and we're doing fine. So, yeah, we should be good to go. But let's put on our NAS. We have to be within 8, I believe. 4? Oh, 12. So within 12... So we're good right here. I don't know how much cap we'll actually gain, but it's got to be better than what we were getting before, right? which was nothing. Approach at 8, if I can find the 8. Oh, and he's got a web. <laughs> he's got a web. My court mates wanted to help me out here, but 
I'm being... I just want to see if I can do it on my own. Alright, I don't know where where the next wave's gonna warp in from. Or appear, for, spawn from. 108. So, let's try to loot this cruiser wreck while we go towards our guys. Oh, so it's in the opposite direction? No, it's not. Where's it at? Alright, it's over here. Uh, let's check the ships. Do we have anything that's elite? It doesn't look like it. But we've got a lot of ships to take care of here. So let's lock the Punisher. Let's lock the two um, destroyers. And let's hope that Punisher comes and finds us sooner rather than later. Privy Council. Yeah, so no lights elites so far which is uh i mean i wouldn't have mind having like an elite frig spawn because then we have a chance of getting like a smuggler um uh what are they called a smuggler afterburner but only a small one i did buy a smuggler uh i watched uh some guy on youtube uh, scoundrel gaming x scoundrel or something like that um, check them out you probably already have all right this privy council is coming into range so we're probably gonna have to deal with this guy let's just start firing holy crap I wasn't paying attention to my shield guys all right I don't like <laughs> I don't like this and he's probably going to have a web on him. Oh, that's a... That's a freaking... Uh, what is that? A cruiser? Yeah, so... I should have been paying more attention. Because now we've got two cruisers on us. Oh, and they have that weird blue thing. Well, the nice thing about them being so close and not having a web is that we are able to why am I doing no damage oh I'm doing damage okay just very small amounts of damage yeah those guys are quick so let's get rid of this one let's lock this guy and let's uh, let's align to the station because once this Punisher gets in range, if he has a web, uh, we could we could get into some issues here. So let's just keep an eye on everything. Let's pop our oh man, I did it again. Our ballistic control unit gets more DPS. I'm really not looking forward to when they add scan probes because uh, I'm not going to be able to take my Navy issue into low sec without a fleet at least. And even with a fleet, it's pretty uh, risky. Because pirates like to pirate. By the way, I just want to show you guys this uh, kill that I had. I was in a Coercer Navy issue, but look at these drops. Imperial Navy medium pulses, a web, and I took them out uh, with a little help from the rats, but I was pretty proud of that kill. It was early days though. Man, this is really going slow. What is this? Is it a a prophecy a prophecy I can't remember if that's a battle cruiser prophecy I want to say it's a battle cruiser oh it is a battle cruiser Duh. Duh. oh I'm way out of range what's going on why did I get so far out of range 
they must have given up on me. Well, the Punisher's coming in range. Let's uh, stop this. Shield. Oh, let's not stop it. <laughs> look at the uh, look at my shield just going down so quickly now. Why? I don't know. All right. Well, we got we got the Punisher down. So, you know, we we done good there. Man, that is a lot of drain on my shield. And I'm going to have to warp out, I think. Okay, let's switch targets. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a lot of damage. So, bounty-wise, we did okay. Uh, 440. You can make that on T6s easily. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's okay. Because we got a 5 million isk bounty coming to us at the end of this. Um, and for some reason, the DPS dropped now that they're closed in, closed in on us. I'm not sure why... But my cap batteries were on different targets. So I just uh, swapped those. Let's put our damage, our ballistic control. I want to call it damage control, but that's a completely different item. Let's pop our uh, cap battery here. Man, that blue, whatever that blue thing is, I don't like it. Uh, when I was killing that the kill mail that I showed you, the um, omen trainer, it it also had that pop up and on the shield, not on armor, well maybe it was armor, I don't know, but it popped up and I was into structure and I'm like, oh man, I might need to warp out, but I was like, you know what, it's so close to being killed, I'm just gonna risk it. And so I risked it and I won and I was very, very glad. Alright, yeah, so there was a iffy moment there. Um, let's take a look at our skills real quick. It's shield operation. I don't know where that is. Um, maintenance. Yeah, like, I could definitely do better into shield. <laughs> I, uh, I felt a little scared looking that up while while I was this close to these, uh, this prophecy. Alright, so we got this guy down pretty much. Oh, it popped that blue shield. Oh, man. Um, I'm not gonna put my bl ballistic con control unit on until it goes away. Because I think it disappears after a set amount of time. I don't think I have to take it down myself. Alright, there we go. So, two shots, and we're good there. Yeah, I don't like how they drop away, and then uh, come back. Look how far everything else is, though. You know what? Let's uh, let's orbit this. Let's orbit at eight. No, let's approach it at eight. That way, uh, yeah, everything else is just so far away. We don't really need to worry too much. I don't know. There's another arbitrator. That's a cruiser. What's what are we fighting right now? Privacy Council, Prototype, oh no, we're fighting a cruiser, so yeah, that's not a, I don't know, we don't have to worry too much, but we've got another cruiser coming in, coming in hot, let's lock that guy, we can drop this Dragoon, it's 130 out, let's get this Augur. I think, I don't know what an auger is, I think it's like a armor, like a remote armor repair, 
but I doubt it's set up that way for PVE. How long have we been recording? Um, 35 minutes. Okay, so we hopefully this is the last wave. If we have another wave, this is going to be a long encounter. Ballistic control going here. I probably haven't been so efficient on the uh, uh, modules here. Like, see, right now, we could definitely do without the uh, extra shield booster, but we needed that bad boy. <laughs> we needed that massively earlier, so I'm glad we kept it on. Otherwise, we would have had to warp out, like, so many times. But yeah, for T6s, uh, tier 6 encounters, you can just run this setup and go straight away. It's like, just go into the biggest ship, orbit it at 8, and put on your NAS, and then kill all the small ships, and you should be able to tank the whole thing without warping out. I mean, I haven't had to warp out, but I am using that Republic fleet booster. Not that. Oh, look, I'm not even using the right one. Republic Fleet Medium Booster. See what I mean? You you don't really need it. Um, but I have that one going. I like to keep it on top. It wasn't on top for some reason. Um, but... Yeah, you should be okay. You should be okay to tank a T6 and warp out because nothing's going to warp disrupt you or scram you and I've done pretty much like a bunch of T6s like I just do those for fun I don't even do the T5s anymore alright let's look at loot oh that was an elite cruiser oh boy we're going to get something good fingers crossed people fingers crossed <laughs> what do I want I really want like a launcher the Upir medium oh we got two two things here I'll, I'll look at it in a second mmm 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 boys and girls Ryan games is happy right now <laughs> oh we got a medium afterburner all right that's worth like what oh only 600k okay and an Upir Nosferatu, 2 mil. But that's that's 2 mil on top of my, what? On top of the 5 mil we're going to get, plus all the bounties. So, yeah, these are definitely profitable. Let's turn this off. Let's We're approaching this guy, right? I don't know. Oh, we got an elite battle cruiser wreck. Oh, boys! <laughs> oh, I, I see. I didn't know we had elites. I would have been more nervous. Well, I guess I'm kind of happy I didn't know. Let's put this on. Let's turn that off. Let's put our speed down. Let's uh. Let's just wait and see. Are we hitting? We're hitting. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, I'm really excited to see what's in this Elite Battle Cruiser wreck. We probably have like a tier 7 something. If if we get something like really juicy, I'm just going to be pretty excited. Pretty excited. Well, I guess I'm already pretty excited, so I'm, I'm just, you know, we'll see. Alright, so like one or two hits, one hit, alright, perfect. Uh, let's, yeah, let's move into this other arbitrator. I mean, these guys go down pretty quickly. I, I really want to see where this guy is. Yeah, I'm just going to approach this and hope hope we can get there.
hope we can get there before we get some uh, some issues. I mean, because the only things in range are the Arbitrator and the Dragoon. And I don't think we really need to worry about either, either of those. I, sorry, I forgot to set my speed to full. Full thrusters ahead. Yeah, this guy's going down without a problem. Oh, and I don't even have my drone going. See what I mean? Efficiency, people. We're so close. We are so close to this wreck. Alright, I don't know why I turned that off. Let's turn it back on. Come on, wreck. Give me something good. Yeah, we've got a guy in our corp that builds uh, regular caracals, but he wouldn't build me a navy caracal. I guess because there's too many requirements and stuff. I have an alt that uh, actually I need to check on that alt right now, but oh wait. Um, loot. Okay, so yeah, we've got another prophecy coming in close, coming in hot. Uh, we should be able to be okay with this guy. I don't know how to tell if it's an elite battle cruiser. Oh, that's firing at the wrong person or the wrong uh, target. Let's just close this down. And I'm going to orbit this guy as soon as I collect this wreck. Let's see what we got here, people. Okay. We got some some pretty good stuff. We'll take a look once we get this situated here. Alright, what did we get? We got a meta level 5. 25,000? Okay. Well, you know, it is what it is. And a crossbow medium beam laser. No one uses beams, so that's going to be low. Alright, so nothing too fancy, but I like seeing those uh, those module drops anyway, so I'm happy about that. If this was like a Kaldari ship, we could have got some medium, like, uh, named missile launchers. That would have been sweet, because those would have sold for a pretty penny. Or I could have used them if they were better than what I already bought. Oh, let's bump that. This is taking forever. Yeah, but see, like, it's doing... Was I using both shield boosters? Yeah, I think I was. Um, it's really not doing any damage to us. Oh, look, and I'm not even draining cap from the right ship. So as you can see, like, this, this one's been pretty easy thus far. Other than, like, that one moment where we got really low... And I think it's just because we had two elite battle cruisers on us. Um, those privy battle cruisers, I think that means elite. Oh, see, they're talking about it in uh, chat right now. Why he doesn't do the navies? I yeah, I think it's just we're based in um, like far away from Jita, so like getting everything from from where it is to or from Jita to where we need to be for building it just takes a lot of logistics and I don't I don't even know if people can build uh, haulers yet so yeah we just got we got a ways to go but my alt like I said um, is training cruiser 5 right now I think or cruiser building five and uh so once that's at five i can probably start building them for our corp um and i'm based out of amar with that guy so i'll just buy everything on the market and pray for the best i probably should have waited but i had the isk and i'm like you know what i want it 
<laughs> I want that Navy issue right now. But I was afraid to bring it on this <laughs> because I didn't know if I was going to get killed. And if I was going to get killed, I might as well do it in a Caracal because it's only, what, 15 mil? And plus the shield booster is like another 10. So, yeah. Look at this. I wasn't even paying attention to my shield, but we're doing fine. We're doing just fine. Let's put our drone up. Oh, too late. All right, our last harbinger. Let's approach this guy at eight kilometers. Oh, I think I did seven. Eight. All right, perfect. And uh, yeah, we should be we should be good. Hopefully, this is the last wave. If we have another wave. I'm probably gonna dock, drop all this stuff off at the station just in case we get uh, we get in another hairy situation. Do do do. Right, right about now, I'm wishing I had an afterburner fit. Let's let's look at our wallet. So we're at 14 mil. Bounty reward 685, bounty 455. So I think I got that 685 doing tier sixes, and this 455 was from the tier seven. So so like per per bounty tick, it's a little bit less, at least in this ship, because of the DPS what I say we were putting out, 211, without the drone, and uh, with the drone, what are we at? I don't know, uh, 230 or something? Yeah, 230. It, it was bumped up right there because I had the ballistic control unit going. Let me look at this. So, yeah, a Harbinger is a battle cruiser, I believe. It's been a while since I've played regular EVE, as you guys can see on my channel. And I don't even think I've done any kind of, like, real, like, I haven't even shown my main characters on, on EVE Online. Oh, crap, look at my shield. Guys, I wasn't paying attention. Um, yeah, so, so it's, it's just been a while. But we're good. We're good right here. Look, our cap, look how far our cap went up, even without the capacitor battery. But yeah, that battery helps out in a lot of situations. Um, we only had to warp out once so far, and so that was good. And honestly, like if I orbit this guy, we would probably take less damage, so let's do that. Because right now I'm just keeping it range. And so he's not like circling, so there's no traversal. So let's close that second booster. All right, yeah, so only two waves. Perfect. Let's go loot this last cruiser wreck. And let's look at my wallet. Ooh, five mil. My corp is only 2% tax, so mm, God bless. Uh, what else did I want to show you guys? Um, I guess that's it. Yeah, so that's how I do tier 7s, and that was like one of the highest bounty rewards you can get from an encounter um, in a tier 7, and pretty much all tech 5 on all my stuff except for that one shield booster, and honestly, you could probably do it in a regular shield booster, you know, if you're broke or if you don't want to pay for it, so... 211 DPS is pretty good. Um, when I first started, I think I was like in 150 zone, <laughs> which is really low. But for tier sixes, and you can do, you can make good money on tier sixes as well. So, sorry, I have my mouse there, but I'm streaming from my iPad, so I'm trying to click like I'm on blue stacks, but it's not working. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. That's gonna do it for our video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, 
if you want to see me do a T6, just so you know how to do it, uh, let me know. But there are other people that do it just as well. But uh, my fit's pretty good for tier six um, with the cap battery and everything like that. So yeah, without further ado, I'm Ryan Games. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me your comments and I'll see you next time.